Hey everybody, so Logan here from Red Bandana Gaming. Uh, today I'm bringing you, as requested, after I did my Nintendo 64 collection, uh, I was asked to do NES. NES is not my largest of the Nintendo collection that I have. Um, it is actually bigger than my Super NES, technically, by like one or two games. But my Super Famicom is definitely the largest. So in this video, I'm going to cover NES and Famicom. So, because this was requested, John, this is for you, you asked for this, you're getting it. So, without further ado, let's take a look. So, we're going to start with the top. Now, the top I have two boxed games for the NES. One being... Whoops. A Car Warriors 2. Uh, Victory Road. I got this at, again, I've mentioned him so many times, CD Trader down here. Um, boxed. Complete. Beautiful condition. 20 bucks. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Akari Warriors series on the NES. My favorite being Akari Warriors 3. And I'm sure you've heard me mention it uh, a few times on this uh, channel. But yeah, I might make a video of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not like we don't have plenty of time to make more videos now. So next one is Tiger Heli. Tiger Heli, it's not originally sealed. This is a reseal because I got it at East Starland when I was in um, uh, D.C. This is uh, East Starland's in uh, Virginia, right outside of D.C., maybe 20 miles away. And uh, box complete. No manual, though. But hey, still haven't opened it there. That's kind of cool that they do that. So next, I have... Uh, whoops, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I, I have a little Metroid and he was falling. It's like, no, don't don't fall, little Metroid. Okay, back to the top. I got Abadox. This is an interesting game. It was a pretty gory game for the NES. One of the only ones that uh, I know of. This, you'll actually hear more about it in an upcoming video that Lich and I did uh, a little while ago that I just haven't put out yet because it's um, it's going to take a little editing. So this one is an interesting game. It's a shooter. We've got baseball for the NES. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. Now, trick shooting. This is a light gun game that um, Barker Bill's trick shooting. Apparently it's based off of 1950s show from my understanding but i bought this uh even though it won't work on my tv because it's you know an lcd i do have a uh, crt in storage but i got this because this was the first game that i got when i was young actually my sister bought it uh right after we got our nes so it's got a little sentimental value to me next is jellico which is actually base is loaded uh blue marlin Blue Marlin's a fishing game that I rented when I was young uh, with my dad. This is one of the few that we would actually play together because my NES was at his house. Uh, I'll get a little more into the history of my NES. Uh, maybe in a in another video, um, what consoles mean to me, why I have so much Nintendo stuff. Uh, I might do a, uh, a Nintendo retrospect for me in my life. Captain America and the Avengers. Captain America and the Avengers is one that... I remember playing when I, again, when I was young at my dad's, if you ask me, I don't remember the gameplay too well as I do the Super NES one, because the Super NES one was one from the arcade and I played the crap out of that. This one I do want to do a video soon. Next is, sorry for the shoddy camera work, I'm trying to hold it as I'm pointing up, so it's a little rough. Captain Planet, this game sucks. If you were a fan of the, the animation, the animated series in the 80s and 90s, it sucks. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's, it, it goes to different game pl play types. It's a, sometimes it can be a shooter. It's, it's, it's just bad. Um, Disneyland Adventures. Actually, I think this is uh, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. This isn't the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> I popped it in, and it's actually Disneyland. So, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Next one is... Castlevania 2, don't really have to say much about that. Demon Sword, this was recommended by uh, by Lich. Uh, 
I think we'll do a video on this one. Dragon Warrior. Do I really need to talk about that? Duck Hunt, Friday the 13th. I know it's an awful game. But uh, between my wife saying that she used to play this and watching it on uh, AVGN, had to pick it up. But it's the infamous uh, LJN. Um, Gauntlet 2. Gauntlet 2 holds a place in my heart. Um, I love Gauntlet 2. It was one of the first games I got for my original Game Boy. I played the crap out of Gauntlet 2, and so I decided to pick it up on the NES. Golgo 13, based off an anime, not too familiar with the game, uh, recommended by Lich. So picked it up. We might talk more about that later. In a, another video. Akari Warriors. See, told you. Epic artwork. Love the Akari Warriors series. All right. Yeah, funny. Jeopardy. Oh, let me get some better lighting over here so you guys can see a little better. Uh, Jeopardy. I played these games, all the Jeopardy games, at uh, my cousin's house in West Virginia when I was young. Uh, they they had the NES up there, so we'd play the Jeopardy along with uh, Mario 1, 2, and 3 quite a bit. Karate Kid never played it. Saw the movies. Most of us did. Uh, one my wife wanted because she said she used to play this, so pick that up. Same thing with Kung Fu. Metal Gear. Metal Gear is just iconic. Come on. It's Metal Gear. Major League Baseball. I love baseball growing up. Still do. It's the only sport I really watch that in racing. Rampage. One of my favorite games of all time. I used to play this in the arcade. Um, I remember I didn't get this until I had gotten my Super Nintendo. And I got it at the, the Swap Shop, which is a uh, <laughs> flea market down here in South Florida. Used to be real different back in the early 90s, and that's when I got this. I remember buying it for five bucks. This isn't the original copy. I did uh, pick this up not too long ago. One of my favorite games of all time. Ring King, great boxing game. Yeah, I think it's better than Punch Out. Fight me. Um, alrighty. Sky Shark, a top down shooter. Uh, some of these games you'll see, it's kind of weird. Uh, I, I got these because I played them a lot when I was a kid. Uh, my grandfather bought me an NES at a yard sale with a bunch of games and uh, I sold it off a while ago when I was getting my Dreamcast as you can see like 20 plus years ago um, regret it and now I'm buying back a lot of those games yep, Metal Gear 2 Super Mario Duck Hunt, everybody has that Star Tropics I played this, I rented it uh, again, when I was uh, staying at my dad's, played it there. One of the earliest RPGs I think I ever played. Wasn't sure what it was at the time. I know I liked it, and I bought it. Stealth was one of those games that I played uh, because they came in that lot that my grandfather bought me. Now this one, I just know it's bad, but <laughs> I played it on... Like, the first time I ever played it, I think it was on Virtual Console on the Wii, and I was like, whoa, I didn't even know this one existed. So I bought it, and yes, that is Ken. Tag Team Wrestling and Tecmo World Wrestling. Same thing, they came in that... Actually, come to think of it, I don't know if Tag Team was in it. It might have been, but I know I had a lot of wrestling games. This was one of my favorites growing up. Uh, really enjoyed it. Ninja Turtles, one of the most hardest games ever, but it's Ninja Turtles. And we actually, if I'm not mistaken, have a video for this for Turtle Tuesday. I'll probably put it up in the up in the corner right there. And then, of course, how can I not? Another fantastic game, Turtles 3. Harder to get. This one was more expensive out of my uh, NES collection, but very good if you guys haven't played it. The first time I ever played it, again, rented it when I was with my dad. Top Gun, this is, actually when I bought this, I didn't realize this is the first Top Gun. The one I had was the second second Assault, Second Encounter, I can't remember. And then I was like, oh, so I need to find part two. Total Recall, never played it, loved the movie, of course, of course I did. Um, <laughs> there's so many things that just popped into my head just there that my brain farted. 
Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Get your ass to Mars. <laughs> so, man, I love that movie. Never played that when I was a kid, but saw it on AVGN. Totally forgot about it. I was like, yeah, let me go buy it. Huge WCW fan. So I had to buy it. Huge. This game's awful. Now, Wizards and Warriors. Uh, apparently, this was an uh, early Rareware game. Did not know it. I never played it, but my wife did, and I picked this up, and both of us were like, man, this is awful. And, but she, she still has some, still sees it through rose colored glasses. Me, another awful LGN. I remember when I uh, rented this again with my dad, and it was. It was bad. I had no clue what I was playing. I was like, how are these the X-Men? They were just like little blurs of color. It was awful. But bought it anyway. Now this, this is a Game Shark for N64. I'm not going to pull that out. This, let me move that. Sorry. This little piece right here is the Famicom adapter for the NES. This one works with a top loader or the Hyperkin Retron HD or any of the other Retrons and you'll see one of those in a minute So you plug the Super Famicom game into here plug it into the top you can play it on your NES Now move that over here Next we're gonna go to I don't have too many Famicom games But this is Mystical Ninja 2 um, Haven't played it yet, but I just I was like, man, I love the Mystical Ninja series, so I went and picked it up. That one, Little Ninja Bros 2, if I'm not mistaken, that's what that one was. I uh, can't quite remember. I think that's what it is. Uh, Dragon Warrior 3. Dragon Warrior Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest 3. And even though I'll never play it because it's in Japanese. And Akari Warriors. Famicom version. I told you I like the card wars. So those are my Famicom games. Now over here, oh, let's get the too much light. Uh, my NES Mini, we all have one. I actually have two. This is the one that I play from time to time. I do have uh, the Sega Genesis Mini connected and I just swap out the uh, HDMI and the power cable because they all run on the same thing. No, mine isn't modded. And just for a quick look, I do have another one i found one at target for like 40 bucks i don't know why i was in their clearance section i just snatched it up so there we go uh now let us take a look at some of my nes accessories because uh, there's the nes like you saw on the other one Woo, it's the top loader it's the original still works it's great now here in the chair Ooh, we've got a number of NES type situations here. This is the Retron HD. And you can play NES games in here, and with the that adapter that I showed you earlier, you can play Famicom. As you can see, it has HDMI and AV. Um, plug it to your HD TV. Great. This is the NES controller, but for the NES Mini, as you guys can see. I have the zapper. Now this one isn't the original NES Advantage. This is the joystick for the NES Mini. But these are all my NES things. Now, this is the original NES controller that came with my, well, NES. So it still works great, it's fine. Now these are some third party ones. And what bothers me, this is retro bit. Retrobit usually puts out some pretty good stuff right after getting it the cable slip like there and I was like son of a So I'm gonna try to open it and maybe fix it see what I can do with it because the d-pad on here is actually great I like how the the buttons are at an angle makes it a little easier This one's actually the best. This is the hyperkin NES one It came with the retron HD right there and it's got these little grippy things in the back that make it much more comfortable and the edges are slanted in so it doesn't poke you in the hand for some people who have that issue. But it still has the hard D-pad, which is fine. And then the dog bone, not the original, because I'm still having a hard time finding the original dog bone in good condition. 
So it is third party. It's Tomy. I'm not sure. I think it's like one of those aftermarket ones made by Hyperkin. Not 100% sure. But it, it, it's all right. It does the job. The D-pad's a little floaty, but it's it, it's not bad. So, um, yeah, that's that's all I really have for the NES. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, <laughs> sorry about the floaty camera work. I do film this with uh, my Note 10 Plus because it makes it easier than pulling out any of the bigger or the, the stationary cameras. Um, but, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for um, asking to see this. John, this is for you. You asked for this video. There you go. So, there's my NES stuff. Um, hey, depending on what you guys want to see next, Famicom, uh, I mean Super Famicom, Super NES, uh, DS, GameCube, sure, I'll do it all. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember to head on over to RedBandanaGaming.com for all your latest good stuff. Follow us on our socials at Facebook and Instagram, Red Bandana Gaming, Twitter at RBG underscore Retro. And yeah, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. really helps us out. Uh, try to bring you as much content as we can during these times so you guys have plenty of stuff to watch. Um, yeah, and if you like this, hit that like button. Hit the little thumbs up. Make sure your little notifications are on. So whenever we put out these videos, I'm trying to put out as much as we can for you um, so you have plenty of things to watch again so you have so much i'm doing my best try to get you at least one video maybe two who knows maybe three a day i'll get out as much as i can but um thank you guys for watching like we always say be legendary thanks again